Okay. Um, as a lot of game threes in this tournament have been, it is a Mongols war. Um, players can't use this, any of the sieves that we're using games two, so that's why with Brits and Celts both used, um, the probability at that point is a Mongols war, or that's what we've been seeing from a lot of players here. Um, so let's have a look. We've got Yo in the top part of the map here in blue, and Goku at the bottom in red. Um, it's a green Arabia again, so uh, good wood lines. In fact, have we seen it? Yeah, I think it was one game, a desert game, I can't remember. But yeah, that, that's why we see that these players have really good wood lines in this map, actually. Um, Goku with a pretty great map, to be honest. Um, he's got gold right at the back, he can wall out the side with the forests. Um, he's got stone in the back, which is really important for a Mongol player. Um, second gold, not well. Second and third gold, actually, not the best positions because they're forward. But he can TC that as long as he's got the map control, and he could even put a TC there or there as well. So, um, and also he can defend them from this hill, like if he was coming from this direction. So, pretty good map for Goku, I think. His main stone's pretty easy to take as well. So, um, very Mongol friendly this map, actually. I feel. Um, meanwhile, Yo, really great backward line. Um, decent stone, really. Gold kind of exposed, but pretty close to TC. It's not terrible. This second gold's horrible, though. Trapped as it is in the trees. Like, he's going to have to chop all those trees down before he can take it. And then third gold is, yeah, disgusting. All that over here. I mean, he could take it within some walls, perhaps, but, um, yeah. But right, I'm going to keep an eye on the scouts in this game because we do have Mongol scouting in play of course which means players are going to be able to scout their map and then go over to the enemy base so much more quickly you can see both players have already uncovered so much um, but neither player has headed forward quite early enough to get those boss deals in before the four minute mark which means of course that um, if Yo takes a ball Goku can't read because he's already used sorry well, I was going to say, the players can't restart anyway, but Goku couldn't have restarted anyway because he's used his restart. Sorry, getting slightly confused there. But um, yeah, if Goku had gone really forward early and stolen Yo's board, then Yo would have still had his restart, but they're both coming forward quite late. Or later. I see Goku's actually still way at home in the back part of his map here, whereas Yo is just coming forward. Probably not going to find that second ball, but and steal it before Goku takes it, actually because it's so far at the back. Three on wood for Goku, so I guess we're going to see scouts from him. Um, three on wood for Yo as well, so probably scouts for him too. Um, you don't see a drush too often as Mongol, simply because it just doesn't really mesh so well with the, the playstyle. Scouts are usually the preferred play for him. And indeed, you can do a very fast scout rush because you can just go up so quickly because of the hunting bonus. I look at deer positions actually. Um, Goku's not really able to be taken, he's actually ward them out. And Yo's not really able to be taken either because I mean, he could push those, but it's a lot of scouting time to go and push more than, more than say one of those deer in. So. Neither player are going to be taking advantage of Mongol hunting bonus for deer collecting in this game, I don't think. Certainly not in the early stages when it's the most crucial anyway. Yeah, it's looking very much like scouts for both players. I notice there's a slight difference in approach between the two of them for when they go on uh, wood. Like Yo sends extra villagers to wood just a tiny little bit earlier. Um, I saw him doing that in the previous in one of the other games where he did scouts. Whereas Goku kind of goes over a little bit later, but then has a second lumber camp earlier. Just 
slight subtle differences in the players' builds. It largely comes down to uh, to preference and kind of how that player has evolved over the course of their playing careers. But let's see what players can see of each other's maps. Like Yo sees basically everything of Goku. You um, can probably assume that there's some some kind of warning going on here, maybe, or will do later on, because he can see that that forest's going to push close to the edge of the map. But he knows that Goku's got a nice map with. Um, gold and stone in the back, so. Um, he, but equally, sees his forward two golds. Meanwhile, Goku hasn't seen, hasn't found out as much about Yo's map at the moment. He's found two of his golds and his main stone, but hasn't really found much else more. Um, he does see that this gold sucks. Looks like Yo may have actually. Uh, started building his barracks just a little bit late then because he's building it with two villages although I guess uh, I probably use two villages to build the stable too so um, not really a problem but perhaps slightly more efficiency if you're talking the minute details slightly more efficient to just use one village for the barracks see that um, I think Yo was up to the few delays just a few seconds earlier I may be wrong on that but uh we got a couple of hits on Goku's scout, so benefiting from the scout becoming more powerful when you reach the feudal age. Someone says what's with the music. I, I like to have a little bit of music on in the background. Um, unfortunately, it has to be royalty free, which means there's, I have to like buy it. <laughs> Otherwise, um, the streams get muted. But um, when I'm casting alone, I like to have it on just because uh, it feels a little bit like less of an awkward silence if I don't say something for 10 seconds. And it also means you listen to something else other than just me <laughs> prattling on. See that Yo's trying to get some kind of wall off here. He may choose to shoot complete the shield actually later on. Goku meanwhile has blocked up the whole entrance to his base. So unless scouts charge through the TC, he's looking pretty safe for now. His first scouts are moving across the map. He's got three. That one is a slightly damaged one that he started off with. Um, gonna be moving in on this gold and that could work out pretty well for him. Three scouts is not quite as good like at that level where you kill villagers quite quickly and it, where is it that's more true if you have four but um the thing is yo's gone into archers really early actually i was in all of the kind of talking about music and just taking a moment out i see that yo even though his build looked more scout like to me in the dark age he actually just went for archers he probably saw goku's map and just thought scouts aren't going to help me that much so i'm just going to switch to archers i feel like that would have been what was in his head Oh, he didn't. Yeah, he didn't even put a stable there. He went archer straight away. Because I, I was assuming that that building that was next to his back was going to be a stable, but I looked away, um, and then I've looked back, and it's actually an archer range. So yeah, archer straight away for him. Yo's gold is tricky indeed. I agree. Um, the thing is like he, if he maybe puts a few walls there and has a good archer presence on the hill like he can probably get away without making a tower um, but it's extra gold after that was the problem as I keep pointing out that one and that one not the greatest. Goku doesn't actually know about that third gold but he's probably going to find it soon if his scouts continue on that course. Have a look at home what's Goku doing. It looks to me like he's just going to go up to the castle age. It's not, he only produced a handful of scouts and then it looks basically like um, a couple of scouts and then wall up partially and just go to the castle age quickly. Um, although actually it is transitioning to a lot of gold now all of a sudden. Are these guys going to gold? Yeah, so maybe he's um, going to be going heavily on crossbows or something and if he goes up or whether he's just going to do a really late heavy switch into archers. But blacksmith coming down instead of an archer really suggests his intention is more just uh, go straight to the castle age so he's probably just looking to get the gold in to do crossbows or maybe even knights. Maybe even knights. 
um, in the Castle Age. Like, I'd, I'd be surprised if he digs crossbows, considering he hasn't been pr producing any archers now. So all those archers coming forward for Omyo um, may just about be able to pick. <coughs> sorry, voice call weird. Lost my voice there. <coughs> may just about be able to pick up one or two villages on the farm. They can totally destroy this farm. See though that Goku is indeed going to do knights. Second stable going down. He's going to be kicking up to the castle age any moment. I feel like he could have maybe dropped one or two extra farms with those villagers that went over to gold first because I feel like he'd be up earlier and then he could add the number of villagers to gold that he needs to sustain two stable nights afterwards because um, like when your opponent's going to be staying around in feudal age for a little bit longer the earlier you get those knights pumping really makes a difference and, um, I think he could have been up 30 seconds earlier or so if he just dropped another three farms or something instead of perhaps some quite so many villages to gold but the thing with knights is that unless he like breaks down palisades which he can of course do unless you know rewards endlessly behind it he's not really going to be able to do damage like so he may consider adding a siege workshop as well although um, doesn't really have the map control to build that forward so any mangonels will be coming from home Bloodlines coming in. He should tower Yo's gold. Um, possibility, but he just he would need to come out and do it when he's got like six knights at the start of the castle age. In fact, he's going to need him more than six potentially. I don't know. Depends how many, if Archer, Yo actually groups up his archers and positions them nicely. If they get caught out in open ground, six knights probably kill his archers pretty easily, especially with um, bloodlines and plus one. But uh, yeah, he needs to get five or six knights and then push out and do it then. Otherwise, when, like once Crossbow comes in and Yo's kind of hiding behind the palaces, I think I just don't know if he'll be able to have the the presence to push there onto that hill where the crossbows are standing and um, or crossbows will be standing and tower that gold. It would be nice, but um, just you, Goku just doesn't have the map control. He's going to do Siege Workshop though. Um, I'm interested to see if he takes the Mangonels forward with the Knights and tries to push, although he's just going to defend. He's doing Monastery straight away as well. Uh, I assume that's just he wants to go out and collect medics ASAP. <laughs> Okay, so Bloodlines plus one Knights pushing out, Bowsaw coming in. I've seen a few players miss stuff like Bowsaw until ridiculous times in the game, or like 45 minute horse collars and stuff like that in this tournament, which you, you don't expect to see at this level, but um, it's always reassuring that a player is uh, kind of on point with their general play when they're not missing their eco upgrades. Two Mangonels for Goku. He's going to go aggressive with these. So, uh, as I was thinking, like, he definitely wants to push with Knights and Mangonels, but in terms of actually doing a forward siege workshop, he just didn't have the map control, so Mangonels coming from home. And that's really the only way he's going to be able to do damage with the Knights, because the walls of Yoan with the ridiculous number of archers soon to become crossbows that he has, he really does need a couple of Mangonels to try and start dealing damage. TC coming up on this wood line. Um, kind of interesting that he TC the wood instead of the gold because I feel like a, a TC there to block this gap and then a lumber camp on the wood line might have been nice, especially if he walled here. Um, but it's perfectly fine. I mean, like Bills from the gold can run to the TC pretty easily. Now, this is interesting because Goku's going to be arriving in Yo's base with the Manganel, ready to start pushing in with the Knights as well whilst Yo moves out, so does Yo go back, um, as I think he'd be well advised to, or does he try and base trade and do a lot of damage in Goku's side? That's the interesting thing. 
Manganel is here. It did pick off one villager, but the main thing is that it's going to allow Goku to break through these walls. And uh, if Goku gets in with those knights, oh my god, the amount of villagers that are going to go down. This is going to be brutal. Unless they. Because, uh. You know, like, those villages aren't going to all fit in the TC. Goku's, I mean, Yo's panic building one here, but Goku can just run to the TC and carry on killing if he wants to. I'm surprised he's not, actually. Damn, I was anticipating so many villages going down and it didn't happen. Let's see what Yo's doing over here. He's picked off a Manganel. Uh, don't really see any villager kills here, actually. I don't see any dead bodies. Maybe one or so, but not really done much damage, whereas for now, Yo has like this whole population idol pretty much, which is devastating in itself. Like 30 idols, that's worth a lot of kills. Even if, I'm not sure what this monk's doing, but it's asking to die. <laughs> And that's two Manganels on the hill for Goku. It's just going to take down that TC. Yo's desperately repairing it, but the issue with this is that the damage output of the Manganels is so high that you've got to repair it very... You've got to like put a lot of villages on to repair. And then TCs cost stupid amounts of wood to repair. They don't cost stone to repair, but they cost wood. But normally I think when you're repairing buildings, the repair cost is like half the building cost for repairing a full amount of HP. But when you're repairing TCs, it's actually double. <laughs> so it's as though TCs cost 550 wood or something like that. I mean, look at this economy. Like, Yo basically has to go over there and just kill <laughs> a ton of stuff from Goku because he's just losing everything here. He's gonna lose one TC and he's got like 20 idols. No villagers are working efficiently. This is, uh, this is what you call an economic depression. <laughs> And these crossbows for Yo just doing nothing, and they could even get cleaned up by the knights, depending on how many Goku is actually massing in. Okay, he hasn't got enough, anywhere near enough to take on those crossbows, but. Okay. Yo did pick off one man, you know, which means this TC will live for now, but the damage to the economy is just ridiculous. <laughs> and uh, Goku, if he finds all this, can just start pushing in from this direction instead, pushing from the right on this area. Those villagers are coming back out to work, but they just can't. Too many knights everywhere. This is a really great play from Goku. He's uh, basically quit out of his scout production, gone up fast, and then just come forward with just this, such a strong push. And also, kind of looked at Yo's map, realised the important area to hit that's the gold, and then it gets in the hill as well. And as I was to attack the wood line too. And uh, I'm looking at this and I just wonder what Yo does here now because yeah, you, know, you bring the crossbows back and it's made a couple of knights. Surprised he's not making camels out of that stable because Goku doesn't have any archery units. But the thing is, he just has no food. <laughs> like all of the um, villages that would have been collecting food or repairing the TC or idling the TC. Let's see this Manganel shot. No, it's not a good Mangano shot actually, but And Yo did pick off the Mangano, which kind of um really neuters this push from Goku actually. I mean it's definitely already done enough damage. Uh, but he's actually pushing in the south with more Manganels. And this is just gonna idle the rest of Yo's economy now. Like it seems like this area was actually gonna get um cleaned up, like Yo had finally brought enough army there to actually deal with it, but now Yo with 40 villagers out of 50 idle. It's just absolutely devastating. And meanwhile, Goku with 65 villagers working. Like, even if Yo stabilizes this for now and somehow he actually has the score lead, probably because of resources in the bank. To some extent, perhaps. I don't know. Um, oh, his exploration percentage at, at, is having a big impact as well. He's got 230 points from exploration. But, um,. I just don't see how like Yo is going to transition into the late game and play against the Mongol player with this. Goku seems to be maybe thinking about even a castle drop to finish this off. Unless he just wants that castle to kind of get it in place early as a Mongol player and grow up perhaps as well, use it as a castle age building, but he's actually got 
seed workshop in a monastery anyway, so he's not thinking a bit like that. I think the only real thing that's been going against Goku in this game is losing his mangonels, um, kind of a little bit cheaply. Obviously it's hard to save them when a couple of knights just suicide rush them, but I think if Goku hadn't um, lost a couple of mangonels in this game, he'd have probably taken down TCs by now. Switch to Goku's point of view, look at his resources. He's actually putting that castle exactly where I wanted to see it. I was going to say I would love to see a castle here. I mean, if he could get it here, I think that would be awesome. But this definitely works because it gives him the base to just push in here. And he's, if he is second to the Imperial Age in this game, it would be an absolute miracle. So um, that also means that he could just start treading down TCs and stuff and production buildings from that hill. <coughs> I almost wonder, like, it will get to that stage though. So those knights have got plus two and bloodlines, which means they're pretty beefy. Um, Goku trying to turn the engagement by converting the crossbow to as well, and it looks like Yo's army should kind of get caught out now. Um, and that means that this castle is going to go up. For now, it's not going to threaten Yo immediately, but as a forward base to push out and deny these resources and take out those two Cs, two TCs, it's pretty perfect. But yeah, right now Yo is basically playing for Goku's internet to turn off. I think <laughs> that's probably his only way. But um, if it, because it's a tournament, it would be safe and restored. Yeah, I think what no, what he's actually praying for is for Goku's dad to start calling him again. That's probably the only way. <laughs> See that Goku now, he's happy with his position in this game. He knows he's going to be so far ahead. And it looks like he's just banking for Imperial. He can finish this with... I mean, we might even see him just do Cavalier. Cavalier and a tread or two, and that could end it. Like, I don't think he even needs to bother uh, going down the Mangadai route, but it, as I say that, he queues some. Like, it's, it's worth it to make some, but in terms of going elite Mangadai and everything, I think he's, uh, you know, he could finish that game faster if he just does Cavalier and a couple of extra Mangadels and an extra Castle on the Tread, maybe. But, coming out for Yo and picks up another of Goku's mangoes. <sighs> Goku needs to play dodgeball. That is my um, conclusion from this game because his mangoes, they just die so quickly. <laughs> but I can't fault him on strategy. Can't fault him on strategy at all. So going to the Imperial Age and he's actually getting uh, stone mining so he's maybe even going to think about a third castle. He's actually only 350 or so stone away and he's going to be get taking Yo's forward stone. But he stopped making knights so he's not going to do cavalier, he's just going to go Mangadai from all his castles. So Yo is actually floating 1277 gold. Um, we saw this in the previous game where he was floating tons of gold really early. It's, it seems. Oh my god, that shot from up the hill! <laughs> wasn't quite as many casualties as I thought it was going to be. Maybe four? It's hard to tell as they're all stacked up on top of each other, but uh. Yeah, it seems like when Yo comes under pressure, he starts floating gold. And right now he's got 500 wood in the bank as well, so. He can make army, like, he can continue making crossbows and mangonels and stuff, and he's getting thumb ring. But. He's got no food. I mean, he's gonna be castle age forever in this game. Uh, and to be honest, if he went, if you like, he just about had enough food to click up now. There you go, GG. I was gonna say it would kill him anyway because he'd need to make army to stay in it. But really, there is no way. He's just so far behind. A Goku, three castles on his hill, hitting Imperial Age, taking away his resources. Yo's 
Eco basically idle for the whole game. He had about 40 idols for 5 minutes. No way. Really well played by Goku. Gonna see like resources gathered. It's just astonishing difference. Almost twice as much food. <laughs> well, not, not almost twice as much, but certainly like uh, one and a half times as much, more than one and a half times as much. An extra thousand gold, despite you know, floating one and a half gold in the bank, and obviously stone key as well. Allows him to put up those castles, 26 villages ahead. And you know, like Goku didn't kill that many units until he actually uh, took out that crossbow army of Yo. But what he did do was just idle the whole economy, which is like killing villages left and right anyway. So, let me just check Goku's on the <laughs> left. Seems like Goku's being disturbed by his father once more. I'm just going to go AFK for a minute. Looks like it'll be a couple of minutes until we get into the game. So, back in a moment.